is an emergency broadcast. If you are receiving this broadcast, you may be in immediate danger. Please remain calm and listen closely to prevent further fatalities. We interrupt your daily programming to warn you of a containment breach near North Dakota. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Multiple hostile creatures have escaped from the SCP Foundation. We require that all residents in North Dakota remain indoors until we have confirmed the threat secure. SCP-966s are incredibly violent entities that are currently prowling the streets. The beasts are somewhat humanoid but are entirely hairless, with dark gray elastic skin. They have an elongated face and have needle-like teeth meant for tearing into malleable flesh. Their physicality poses an almost minor threat. Their muscle density is incredibly low, and they are known to have hollow bones. However, SCP-966 doesn't engage their targets head-on but instead stalks them, waiting for the perfect chance to strike. Listeners should never try to encounter these creatures face-to-face -face as it will most likely end in death. SCP-966 is still very dangerous as each possesses five sharp claws on each hand that are 20 centimeters long. It is almost impossible to identify SCP-966 as they only become visible between the wavelengths of 700 nanometers and 900 nanometers, making them invisible to the regular naked eye. This applies to all of SCP-966's tissues and organs. SCP-966 has been noted not to sleep at all, opting to stop all motor functions for five minutes before resuming its hunt. When hunting SCP-966, it will emit an unknown wave that renders its recipient unable to sleep. The range of this blast is about 20 meters. The victim will be unable to enter neither NREM nor REM stages of sleep. Their prey will then be unable to rest in any meaningful way, and their mental state will continue to deteriorate. The SCP-966 will then stalk their prey until they cannot fight back. After making sure the target is incapacitated, they will consume them. In some cases, SCP-966 has caused their victims to experience vivid hallucinations, resulting in violent outbursts. Therefore, you must stay indoors and alert at all times in order to avoid these issues. Suppose you experience any type of sleep deprivation or auditory hallucinations inside your own home. In that case, an SCP-966 has likely invaded the premise. If this is the case, we urge that you contact the SCP Foundation at 248-434-5508 and hide in the basement of your house. If you feel that an SCP-966 is hunting, don't try and contact family or friends under any circumstance. You must isolate yourself and notify the SCP Foundation to ensure that the safety of your loved ones. It may be difficult to confirm if an SCP-966 is monitoring you as they are agile and silent, so remain vigilant. We have just received word from the SCP Foundation that there will be a military occupation set up in North Dakota and will be working towards capturing SCP-966. We've been notified that night vision goggles can be used to spot and identify SCP-966. You must remain hidden from the monster's sight as they are adept at fighting. They may also be more than one SCP-966 since, at times, SCP-996 have stalked their prey in packs meaning you should never try to engage SCP-966 without proper equipment and training. We will continue to keep you updated over the next few days about the whereabouts of SCP-966. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. This is an emergency broadcast. If you are receiving this broadcast, you may be in immediate danger. Please remain calm and listen closely to prevent further fatalities. We have received more information about the SCP-966 situation. It has been weeks, and the military has been unable to contain the SCP-966s. They have been a dramatic increase in the number of causalities. It has now climbed into the ranks of hundreds, as more and more people have begun to show signs of sleep deprivation. Currently, everyone is on edge due to the influx of deaths in North Dakota. Still, we assure you that the SCP Foundation has everything under control, and you shouldn't worry. However, that being said, there may be an explanation as to why there is such a big increase in fatalities. SCP-966-2 is the only female out of the four SCP-966 that escaped confinement. This means that SCP-966-2 is the only one of the SCPs capable of reproducing. 
This is terrifying news as SCP-966-2 may be producing more and more SCP-966s. There may be more SCP-966s out in North Dakota, and the number is most likely currently rising. We urge everyone to make sure to stay indoors. We know it has been a terrible couple of weeks since the outbreak, but you cannot under any circumstances go outside. The more we feed these creatures, the stronger they get. If you must get food, do so as quietly as possible. Do so at night, when visibility is low, and be sure to have night vision goggles and a weapon in case things turn for the worst. Do not take a car or anything which will make too much noise. We don't know how many of them are out, so making noise is incredibly dangerous. If we are honest, going outside is a suicide mission, but if you absolutely need food, do what you must. Just understand that you may be leading SCP-966s into your home by doing so. Again, if you feel that an SCP-966 has been stalking you, contact the SCP Foundation and the local authorities. A military vehicle will be sent to your location, and they will proceed to detain the SCP. We understand that this news may be disturbing to some viewers. Still, please know that it is vital that you know how to handle these creatures and the necessary precautions needed to get out of this mess. We must remain strong through these next few days as the Foundation captures the SCPs. Remember to stay safe and to get a good night's rest. This might be the last time that you get one. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. This is an emergency broadcast. If you are receiving this broadcast, you may be in immediate danger. The military which has been occupying North Dakota has seemed to be completely wiped out. The SCP-966s have overtaken our nation and are currently searching for their next victims. If you listen to this broadcast, it's likely too late for you. There are too many SCP-966s roaming the nation. Those things are out there, prowling the streets. They're hungry and will rip you apart when they spot something that moves. There's no hope left for us anymore. With persuasion from the SCP Foundation, the government has decided that the best course of action would be to nuke the states with the highest causalities and eliminate the threat. We truly cannot express how unfortunate it is that we have to inform everyone of this news, but we must contain the threat one way or another. We pray for those who still hold on to hope, but it may be best for you to leave the country. If you wish to leave the United States, we recommend heading any of the major airports listed on the screen. You will be taken to London and given shelter and food with other survivors. However, you must be prepared to face those SCP-966 if you want to leave the county. They will hunt you down every step of the way, and if you are hit with their wave, survival is impossible as you will die from sleep exhaustion. Although we will not stop you from trying, so do as you please. We give out our condolences to those of you who don't wish to escape. We advise that you say your farewells to your loved ones and prepare for the worst. Prepare for the worst. <laughs>